I am Jennifer Latter, and I'm a member of St. Joseph's Church. I have lived in Dryden for all, all, most of 47 years. I'm a cantor um, in church. And it was an interesting story how I started to be a cantor. Years and years ago, when my son is going to be 44, he was about a year and a half old. I was um, babysitting downstairs, had in charge of all the kids during Mass. And before Mass started, Father Greengrass came down with his acolytes and with the lecturer. And he said to me, he had a book in his hand, he said, Jennifer, do you know how to sing? Can you sing? And I said, well, I can carry a tune. So he said, good, you're singing at Mass. So I went, <gasps> Anyway, I didn't have a chance to be nervous, and so I have sung at Mass ever since. And that's so it's about 42 and a half years I've sang in, in Mass. Well, that's how it started. But I find that knowing the hymns, the words of the words of of praise, the words of the hymns are absolutely um, they stay with me. They speak to me more than reading the gospels or you know the sort of the official um, interpretations. The, the number of interpretations that there are for, especially for penitential, for praise, they're absolutely gorgeous. I very often have music going in my head, then it's, it's just a wonderful thing um, to have um, this kind of, I don't know how you say it, just the Lord's input in my brain. Um, very often and very often I'm sad or there's something going on that I need to um, work through then I'll find a phrase in a particular hymn and it just it's just sends me in the right direction so for me it's not just singing but it's um, it's kind of worshiping at the same time but I feel I maybe hear God's voice uh, guiding me through um, through the hymns Apart from the music, I love to listen to the sermons. We are very fortunate here to have Father Al because I'm sort of a fan of his, but I know the, the church, the um, liturgy goes in a three-year cycle. So every three years you get something that, um, you get a subject that comes back again, like the prodigal son or something like that. And Father Al has been here for over 10 years, so you know, you'd think, well, every time he would have the same interpretation. He never has the same interpretation. It's always different. And he keeps it short, he keeps it to the, but he keeps it to the point. He always makes the point, and it's easy to remember. As far as meditation, the meditation after receiving the Eucharist is beautiful. A lot of times I'm singing, but even for the few minutes that before, between receiving the Eucharist and, um, and starting the hymns, then there is that little time, and during the consecration, same thing, the little time where you, as much as possible, are in tune, um, or I feel myself more in tune, and I feel Jesus' presence more during that time than any other. Because I don't know what I would do if I wasn't connected with this faith. I seriously don't know how I would get through life. Um, when I was very little, when I was two, I had a very, very traumatic um, thing happen to me. And it left me with being extremely, extremely angry, resentful of authority. And I didn't like God at all for a long, long time. And gradually, 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 over the years, I have uh, mellowed. I have started to listen to God. And I find that in the listening, when I get rid of myself, then over the years I've listened more and more. I don't know what I would do without God now. I just don't know what I would do without Him. Because He manifests every single day in just little things. Like I have a problem, I have a problem with a computer, or I can't, you know, I'm, I'm getting stressed about something. The answer is a little whisper. It's a little whisper. If you listen hard enough, the whisper is there. Especially lately, I've had lots of difficult things in my life. And uh, he's there. More and more, I believe more and more. I'm no longer resentful or angry, or very little. Um, and he's, the more I listen, the more I receive him.